Some of the hardest things to let go of are sentimental items. They hold emotional value, they hold spiritual value, they can hold a lot of space within your home. So let's talk about how we can work through that sentimental clutter and feel comfortable letting go of some of those things. Hi, my name's Rachel, I do videos about decluttering, minimalism and my name's Benjir. And today we're talking sentimental clutter. Sentimental items that are really hard to work through, hard to let go of, and actually they need a whole different framework to be able to let go of those items in a comfortable and safe way so that we feel okay about doing so. So I've got some simple strategies that you can put in place to help you work through those sentimental items. My first tip is to let go of some easy stuff first. Before you can declutter some of those sentimental items, you need to be able to build up the resilience to be able to let go of some tricky things. So start with some easy areas within your home that you can comfortably declutter and feel happy decluttering. Build up those skills so that when you come to those tougher items, you are more resilient and you are more uh, strategic with your decluttering approach. You'll have built up those skills for being able to decipher what you really need, what you use and what you love and what makes you happy so that you can make those tougher decisions. Tip number two is to look through gifts that you have been given over the years, items that you have kept hold of because you have that guilt associated with letting go of that item. This is probably a nice, nicer starting point to work with and processing that guilt attached to the item because let's be realistic, every item that you are given, you're not going to keep for the rest of your life. You need to decide whether or not it's serving a purpose for you, whether or not you're going to use it, whether or not you have used it before, or whether or not it is just taking up space and is not going to be utilised. And remember, the act of giving the gift is enough for the other person that has given that gift. That's all they want to do, was to give you something. It doesn't matter what they gave you, that was the important thing to them and the important thing to you is the fact that they have made an effort and they have tried to gift you something and we're not always going to get it right. Not everybody's going to know the perfect gift for you and they might not get it right and that's okay and we can't have that guilt of well they've gifted it anyway so I should really keep it. We need to be realistic about what we're going to use and maybe think about having that conversation with those people and deciding whether or not maybe gifts of experiences or time together is going to be more valuable for you both and more enjoyable. And if you don't feel comfortable having those conversations with people, then actually just lead by example. And when you are gifting, gift those experiences and that time together and that will help sow the seed for those ideas in their head as well. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and press like, comment and share so that this can be viewed by lots of other people that might find this really helpful. And don't forget to click subscribe and press the bell for notifications so that you know when I next upload a video. I upload twice a week about decluttering, minimalism and my no spend year. Tip number three is to pass on some of those sentimental items to family members. This is a great way of knowing that things are staying within your close community so that you still know that they are being utilised or they are being loved. It will mean that it's easier to let go because you know it's going to somebody that you know really well that is going to value that item. And you can also use that as an opportunity to share your story about that item, share your memories of that item with them and pass that story on so that they have got more than just the item to talk about, they have got a story associated with it, so when they pass it on, they will have their own stories, your story, and it creates that generational heirloom that is more meaningful. So have that moment where you can share that with them and they can take the item. Tip number four is to use that item one last time. Sometimes it's hard to let go because you think you might use the item as well or you think that it's going to be important to keep for others. Actually use that item, decide whether or not it's something that you could use, that you would use and great if that is something that you can utilise. But if you decide that you want to just use that item, have that last opportunity to create a new memory with that item before letting go. It still means that you've had that value of that item, you've utilised it but you've also then said goodbye to that item to pass it on. So it's an opportunity for you to appreciate it and almost thank the item 
and then pass it on to somebody else by either donating, selling or passing it to a family or friend. And tip number five is either to do a giant leap or do baby steps. This is an approach, this is an approach um, coined by the minimalist Joshua Fields Milburn. He suggests that you've got either two options for sentimental items. Option number one is to go full on in that giant leap of faith and you declutter everything. You don't really take much time with it. You just kind of sweep it away, let it go and just move on. And option number two is to take those baby steps. Go through a couple of items every day, decide whether or not it's something that you want to use, if it's something you want to pass on, or if it's something you want to let go of. Those two options are dependent on kind of your attachment to things and how you view things. If you're not that sentimental with some of these items, then maybe an everything goes approach works well. Sometimes when you're doing house clearances for family members that have passed, it can be hard to go through everything. So maybe go through areas that you think are most important to you and then sweep through and do a clear out of all the other stuff. And just remember, our memories are within us not within our things. So those memories are always going to be with you and it's important that you share those. You can have those conversations with friends and family and pass that story on. That's still going to mean something to somebody else and mean something to you. They will still be with you. Let me know in the comments below if you find this helpful or if you've got your own tips for decluttering sentimental items. It is really tough and we're a community. We're here to support one another so comment below and we can help each other out. I should be back for more videos soon. Take care. Bye.